always had a pencil, paper, crayon or something like that and studied a little bit of art when I was in junior high and won some competitions and then went off to undergraduate school to study fine art up in Boston. And you know, interestingly enough at that school, I got a very classical training, but I also got a minors in philosophy and psychology. So what drives people, what we think about, uh, the important questions of life, you know, this whole developmental aspect of understanding ourselves has always thrilled me and always fascinated me. So most of my work as a painter is uh, the exploration of the dualistic side of our humanity. We are going through life as these um, physical beings having a physical experience with other people, but at the same time we're really having a spiritual experience. So there's this beautiful unseen self. So much of my artwork is uh, an exploration of the union and sometimes the separation between the seen self or the physical self and the unseen self. My style would be considered a figurative abstract painter. Um, some of my work is purely abstract, but there's almost always some reference to figure within it. It may not be clear that these figures in the works are human or actual spiritual things. So this, you know, this ethereal body, if you will, or, or even a part of your past coming into your, into your current day self. Uh, I paint with oil paint. I use uh, a medium uh, mixing oil paint with what's called cold wax. Most of my work these days are on wood panels and I do a lot of preparation with the wood panel itself, sanding it, uh, preparing layers of gesso and making sure the surface is just right. And then I mix in mixed media, graphite, sometimes oil pastel. And so I'll work with brush, I'll work with edges, I'll work with uh, plexiglass and all kinds of sticks and things like that. The creative process is very organic for me. Um, I, I find it very interesting to have a relationship with the painting itself. I, I certainly have intentionality when I go into creating a particular piece of art, um, but it never ends up being the way I pictured it in the beginning because there's this conversation that I'm having with the piece, asking the piece what it wants to become and how it wants to evolve and what story it might want to be told. An artist for me, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a painter or a poet or a musician, but an artist for me is going through life with a deep sense of self-discovery and curiosity about your place in the world. I think, you know, great art should always be shaking people from their everyday awareness, shaking people from their everyday life and inviting them into a world of curiosity and then helping them see the life, their life, the world in a very, very different way. I think it all begins and ends with the individual. And so the more that one is aware of who I am, what my place is in the world, the more you can show up as an artist and constantly create for the betterment of humanity.